The aircraft design process contains many steps which I will be briefly summarizing in this video. The first step is to determine the requirements for your aircraft. This includes the payload, range, speed, and climb rate of the aircraft. The next step is to gather data on previously designed aircraft. This includes the general geometry for the wings and other surfaces, dimensions of the plane, and what engines you can use. The next step is to draw sketches to determine the general design of the aircraft. In the initial sizing, you determine the takeoff weight of your aircraft based on the performance of currently existing aircraft. The warm-up, climb, and landing fuel usages are based off currently existing planes and are fairly consistent for most aircraft. In the equation, R is range, C is fuel usage over time, V is velocity, L over D is lift over drag, and E is the loiter time. The total fuel usage, which is W5 over WO, is found by multiplying all these values together. WF over WO is the same ratio, but with 6% added for extra fuel. The last two equations are iteratively used to find the starting weight of the aircraft by guessing at a starting weight and then solving the equation to find how off the starting weight produced is, and then retrying with a closer value. The next step is to draw a 3D CAD drawing of the aircraft. The next step is lofting, where you determine the number and location of control stations on the plane. As a part of the design, subcomponents, and final design steps of the process, you need to decide on which components to use for the plane. This will consist of deciding on which pre-existing engine to use, the location of controls and avionics systems, where to place the fuel tanks and how large they should be, the location of storage areas on the plane, what type of landing gear to use and where it should go, the location, size, and shape of control surfaces, and tail configurations. In the calibration stage, we determine wetted area, platform area, volume distribution, and dimensions of the aircraft. In disciplinary analysis, you delegate the aerodynamics, propulsions, structures and payloads, weights, stability and controls, performance, cost analysis, and sizing to different experts to design those individual parts of the aircraft. In the design review, you consider design alterations and ways the aircraft could be improved.